set out on a mission to complete Pets Go 100% in 24 hours at all costs. All upgrades bought, all pets gotten, and I even tried to get on the leaderboard. Can we do it? You'll just have to watch to the end and find out. Now this video actually starts at the exact moment the game released. People were streaming, hundreds of thousands more were playing, and I was one of them. I made an entire video on what my first thoughts of the game were, spent some Robux, and even got some good pets. This video is about what happened after. After all, I spent 50,000 Robux on a luck boost that gave me 12 hours of luck. And by the time I finished recording the video, I still had 10 hours of luck boost left. What happened? <laughs> I'm glad you asked, random viewer. Like many of you, I recognize that this game is all about two things, hatching pets and completing quests. The quests give you things like coin multipliers that you can use for upgrades, and the pets give you... Well, everything else. The better the pets, the better you are at everything. More luck, more coins, and more flexing ability. The first couple of hours after I ended my video, I actually just set my PC to auto-hatch while I worked on a second video. Welcome uh, to the life of a YouTuber. That video that I was working on here, by the way, is worth checking out if you haven't already, where I got a new account on a leaderboard and then gave the account away. Things were actually pretty quiet for the most part of these few hours, but I did find myself getting a few good hatches. After I finished recording, I hopped on the account and started doing some upgrades. Then it was back to hatching. I'm not gonna lie, the first six hours of this challenge were pretty uneventful. So much so that I left my PC entirely and went out to a haunted mansion with my family. While I was gone though, this happened. I got home to see the world dark and looked up in the sky and saw the reason was because of me. I proceeded to, uh, you know, freak out a little bit before calming down and getting back to the grind. More upgrades were done and more hatching. All the while, I kept my eye on the quests and the moment it required me to do more than just hatch, I got that done as well. A few hours went by and before I knew it, I had maxed out at a hundred times multiplier on the quests and one billion coins. I had completed my first tasks of a hundred percent completing this game with getting the max multiplier and coins. The problem though, I still had to do upgrades and as I soon found out, they get really expensive towards the end. Okay, looks like I've pretty much gotten everything. The only things that are left are things that I don't really care about besides this one thing that was 500 million. Oh my god, what the heck even is a glimmering pet? Looks like I'm done there. I think all I have left are just skins and well, they are kind of expensive expensive, but I mean, I am trying to just complete it 100%, so I'm gonna have to get it. Let's go over to the hoverboard side of things, get some of the axolotl hoverboard, and- <laughs> that it's a 999 million for a pegasus hoverboard i think i think yep yeah, that's the last one i gotta do is the pegasus hoverboard well we've got our coin multiplier maxed at least all i gotta do is sit here for a few more hours hatch some pets get some coins and when i max out again i can finally get the hoverboard and that is exactly what i did i set up my computer to auto hatch and two hours later i came back had a billion coins again and this this time was able to get the hoverboard. And with that, it is done. 205 upgrades done, completed. And something tells me there's gonna be way more in the future. But this is yet another task completed of my road to completing Pets Go 100%. We're well on our way. We've done pretty much everything that anybody can aspire to do in this game already within about 12 hours. Now we can turn our attention to the stuff most people can't do. And that is getting on the leaderboard and getting every pet in the index. Yeah, that I'm not looking forward to this part. <laughs> Getting every pet in the game was going to be a task, one that nobody had done yet, and especially not in the first 24 hours of the game being out. Getting the first page of pets would be easy, but the last page of the 50 million plus stat pets would be impossible. And to do the impossible, a lot of luck would be involved. So for the next hour, I set up myself with the greatest chance of doing so, starting with getting all of the shiny relics around the map. There were 38 in the main map, 12 more in the trade server, for 
a total of 50. It took about 15 minutes, but they were all found. And since that was maxed out too, it was another thing completed on the road to getting this game done 100%. After that, I set my attention to the potions and boosts. I had collected a bunch over the past 11 hours and was ready to combine them all for max luck, rainbow dice, and instant luck dice potions. Time was ticking out on my first 50k Robux spit in the game, and with under an hour left, before I'd lose all of my luck, I was getting desperate. I drank everything, ate everything, and began hatching, hoping for the best. 30 minutes left, then 20. Then 10 minutes, time was ticking down. Everything was coming to an end. How would I get the best pets in the game without the best luck? I wasn't sure what to do. Then I remembered the intro to this video, getting everything at all costs. I knew what needed to happen. With seconds left, I splurged and spent another 50K Robux. Not only did this double my luck, but it also reset the 12 hour timer. With this click, we reached not only a new level of luck and a new resonance of hope, but this also marked the halfway point of our journey and the back half would not be as easy especially since it was now past midnight and i had to go to bed before doing so though i checked to see how far off i was from the top 100 leaderboard and to my surprise i had done it but it was barely i knew there was more work to be done 10 hours went by as I slept. Meanwhile, my account was in-game mindlessly rolling with its increased luck. While I didn't get one of every pet, I did get lucky again. Nick and Angel were in the server when it happened, but in a weird twist, uh, the lucky roll that I got was a pet that I already had. Either way, things were rolling along, and when I woke up, I hopped back online to see how things were going. We have just over an hour left of our Mondo luck before it's gone forever. We've done well. I now have not one but two holographic cats that's right i got lucky twice but i was unlucky to get the same thing the second time which means on that front yeah uh the index thing is becoming a little bit more of an issue than i thought it would be we are at 172 pets 80 percent complete and i i i just i really need to work on that the other thing i kind of need to work on is the worldwide leaderboard and now i currently have 70 million and as you can see that that's enough to put me at number 69. Yo, nice. But uh, it's kind of a little bit of an issue because I've come to find out that the value leaderboard is basically bugged and artificially inflated, much like most pet simulator games. Because if we go to the pets, we see things like the nuclear agony that are worth 2.5 million diamonds. The phoenix worth 6 million diamonds. The holographic cats not even worth anything because nobody has sold them yet. But the thing that I have that's really Really pushing my number up is the Tiki Dominus. 30 million for this thing right here, which makes zero sense because this is 2.5. As you can see, it's artificially inflated, which means all of these numbers are made up and don't really matter. But I want to direct your attention to a video that I just posted where I made a new account as a bacon hair noob, spent 100,000 Robux on it, and got on the leaderboard. Yeah, that's right. I did it not once, but twice. I was on the leaderboard twice. Now, something that I ended up getting not one of these things, but three. And uh, I kind of wanted to borrow them for just a second, just so I can say that I got on the leaderboard and became the best I could possibly be. Hey, I said at all costs, I'm just borrowing it. I'm going to give it back to the other account, but I definitely want to take advantage of it, especially since I'm the one that hatched it to begin with. So all of these things right here, yeah, we about to use all these. And when I claim all those and go look at my account, as soon as it updates. Okay, guys, I'm going to need you to think real hard. Hit that like button. Punch it with your face. And then we turn around and look and, oh, look, it updated. Okay, where am I at on the list now? Where am I at on the list? We got the really rich devs up top. We got Simon here. Hasm. Isaac. <laughs> DJ, oh, I'm not the biggest one. DJ still be, wait, no, he's not. I'm still, I'm higher than him. I have the wait, wait, where was my number? I am now, oh, I'm number 11. I'm almost top 10. Come on, man. What the heck? All right, we got to continue on. I'll worry about that in a little bit. For now, we need to worry about our other thing. And that is the index. Oh yeah, okay, it finally updated. Nice. <laughs> and luckily we can kind of see what we're missing. Funnily enough, I'm missing a lot of the little things because once I got this crazy luck thing, uh, I kind of stopped getting the really bad stuff. And so I don't have like a lot of the bad things. And if we go to page two, you'll see I have a lot of page two already 
done. Minus the, I don't know, the really good things. Yeah, that costs more Robux. And I don't have that much. But let's see if my friends maybe can help me out instead. As I said at the beginning, I have to beat this at all costs. And sometimes that cost is just the friends you made along the way. Angel here said she had a bunch of pets I was missing. And so let's see what she can help me out with. Let's do some trades. We can help each other. I got a list of what she's missing. She's got a list of what I'm missing. It should work out great. There we go. It's done. It put me up to 185. We are 86% done. Oh my God. I think I officially have each pet under 140 million. It looks like I do. The first pet I do not have is a 140 million. <laughs> Oh, no, and I got to get two of those. Oh, this one's going to, this is going to, this is going to be bad. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Let us go to the trade server and see if we will have any luck. Anything big. Anything massive. Not you. Anything. Hey, Sizzles is in here. Sizzles. Oh, my God. You can tell where Sizzles is just by the big group of people in the middle. She said, hi. Okay, okay. This is my chance. This is my chance. I need to get things. I need to get things. Let's trade. Let's trade. I like the things. If you have over 40 million, I will also trade you the same and we can trade back. This is what they... They have that? Oh my God. They have the Yeehaw Cat. That's what I want. I want that. I cannot believe they have a banana. I want Dude, that thing is amazing. It's the number two banana in the world. I want it. I want it. I want it. They said, okay. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got a secret pet. I got a secret pet with my secret banana. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the banana? Yes. Get rid of all this. <laughs> I got the banana. I got it. <laughs> Let's go. That is amazing. But it's not in the index, so it doesn't count. That sucks, bro. Either way, there we go. I at least touched one. I touched a secret pet. Thanks, Sizzles. And just like that, we're back in business, baby. 187. Oh, God. I need more. <laughs> Time is still ticking down and I could sit here and roll, but something tells me it's not really going to help. I'm not going to get anything good. I feel like that's a losing battle. That's not the best use of my time, but I do have a lot of really good things that maybe I can go back through and actually make some really good potions with. We'll worry about that in a little bit. For now, I've got something else I need to do. I've went through the list and I've seen what I'm missing and it's pretty much everything over 140 million minus a few stragglers. It's now time that I take that list, this list here, and go around the internet seeing if I could find some friends willing to help me out. And for the next 20 minutes, I reached out to everyone I knew that could help me with the index. I asked people on Twitter. I asked people in my Discord server. And I got some people to answer. First off, Angel of Violet ended up getting an electric fox and traded that to me briefly which put me at 188. Then I had a few other friends join. I got the Angelus and the Ancient Dragon. What a win trade. Win trade, 50 million for one, even though those are way better pets. <laughs> I even reached out to one of the devs I knew were playing this game and on the top 10 leaderboard and got them in game. Isaac was the first person to hatch a secret hippo melon. And when I joined him in his game, he let me index it and a few other pets I had on my list. We were rolling, but our time was running out. And while we were getting closer to completion, the huge elephant in the room was that I hadn't seen one huge pet yet. That is until I got a response from a friend on Discord and they hopped in game with the most most rare pet in the game, the huge nightmare corgi. And there it is. Oh my God. <laughs> That's insane, bro. <laughs> He said fire. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I won't waste any of his time. There it is, the Nightmare Corgi. I will give you these. I want to ask if he needs those index. We got to trade back and forth anyway. He might as well get something out of it as well. There we go. It is done. After that, things took off. Someone reached out to me on Twitter with a huge Shiba and let me index that one. And then going off that success of what Isaac did, I turned to another developer friend of mine, Simon, as he let me borrow his huge dog that he got. He also uh, let me in on the secret of how he got it. And let's just say uh, millions of Robux were involved. Yeah, this game sucks. But we were close to being done. I've got 15 minutes left and I have a big brain idea. And that big brain idea is to start trying to join devs. Oh no, Spiffy is offline. He was just online a second ago. What about Joey? 
Joey is offline. They sent me a friend request. I'm gonna see if I can join Coder Joey to see what he's doing. Oh, I'm joining, I'm joining, I'm joining. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Coder Joey, Coder Joey. Why is he so short? <laughs> Come on, Joey, Joey. Gosh dang it. Something tells me he's AFK. I need over 40 million pets to index. That's what I need. He doesn't look like he has anything, but he does have a hippo melon, which I wouldn't mind having. <gasps> We're gonna have to move on. We're going to Coder Tony now. I am not only in here with Coder Tony, but also spiffy well 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 and adam <laughs> what the heck why is adam spiffy and coder tony in here is this an extra luck server because the devs are in it is that what's going on they're not hatching anything good <laughs> Wait, what did they got? They got that, they got that. Nothing, 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 nothing. I'm not seeing anything good. Where's Spiffy? Spiffy's in here somewhere. Where is he? Here he is. What does Spiffy have? Also nothing good. Gosh dang it, why are you guys so worthless? You know what? This is where I will make my last stand. We've got 10 minutes left. I will make my last stand here. And for the last five minutes, I wildly rushed and made a whole bunch of potions. The time just slowly ticking down further and further and i was getting lucky but not lucky enough i need rainbow dice potions i'm out of rainbow fruit i need all the rainbow fruit i can get i don't have any more to make anything else all right let's do this we've got two and a half minutes left drink this drink this drink this all of it all of it just drink it all everything that's luck everything that's possible come on finish it off strong what do we got tony ended up leaving he didn't want me Stealing his luck, but we've got others. Come on, I can't leave now. We're so close. It's almost done. It's almost over. 45 seconds. Oh God, oh God. Come on, this sucks. This sucks, this sucks. I can spend 100,000 Robux if I wanna keep going, but I don't. <laughs> Come on, oh, it's a double one. It's a double one with everything going on. Why is it that this is so much worse? Why is it? The other dev left too. The only one in here left is Spiffy. No, that was my huge. Somebody took my huge. But that is it. It is done. And do you want to know what happens when you run out of that extra luck? Well, you start getting nothing. As you can see, my rolls are now worthless. But if I want to go again, I have two days to get that 1,024 for 25,000 Robux. The time had run out. The challenge was over. And the only number we needed to know now was what my final index number was. Well, just before the challenge ended, Angel came back in and let me index five more pets that we were all missing, bringing our total to 210. We had failed our mission, but just barely. In 24 hours, I got every upgrade, every shiny relic, every coin, top 10 on the leaderboard, peaking at number nine, and got all but four pets in the game. We were close, and I knew it wouldn't be a good ending if I just left it there. So, in the early morning hours a few days later, I got a message from the hero of this vid saying he had what I needed. And there it is, the last four. That is it. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen in five, four, three, two, one. There it is. Oh god. dang it, man! Come on! It's all of them! Oh well. Would you consider it a win? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for joining me on this journey. And hopefully you'll stick around for the next one. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and then check out this next video for me. Thanks for watching, gamers.